this. Dog grooming goes well beyond just clipping nails and cutting some hair. And the creative grooming was on display at the Intergroom trade show that took place just this past week. And we are joined now by two participants from the show with their groomer <laughs> and photographer, Paul Nathan, who just published his book, Chronicling Grooming. Welcome. Uh, this is great. Now, tell me, remind me, who's this uh, young fellow right down here? This is Jay. Jay is amazing. Jay, wow. wow. This is incredible. And then in your lap, you have little Gucci. Yes. Gucci. Oh, what, what a cutie pie. Paul, what? I have to ask you, how did you decide, how did you come up with the idea to put this book together? Well, I, I love dogs. And, um, my last dog, uh, my last book, Couture Dogs of New York, was a great success. So I was looking for a new project, and um, I just thought uh, beautifully groomed dogs would just be the ideal project to do. <laughs> and it really was, as you can see. This is great. Well, it looks like a beautiful coffee table book, but what can we see inside? So a lot of it's um, classically groomed dogs, and then at the back there's a surprise, creative grooming. And like Jay and... Uh, some of his friends. Wow. Is it now, I have, Adrian, is this, how do we get the colors? How do you do that? Well, they make products specially for dogs, and most all the products on him is safe, safe, uh, pet safe friendly. Um, there's a product called Opals, it's, it's a dye for dogs, and Pet Estay. Um, and, you know, it's a lot of work, many, many hours and preparation to getting ready for a show. Because I'm just looking at this paw. There's a straight black line. Yeah. Obviously, you know, that's part of the design. How did you have the dog stay still long enough to get that straight line? It, hap it happens in several segments. <laughs> you know, it does. It's not like I do it all in one day. I'll do pick a color and then wait a couple, you know, couple hours, give them a break, do another color. And we do that over several weeks of time. They look wow. like stuffed animals. Like, they really do. So now, um, Jay and Gucci, obviously we have them here, and they just competed in an expo. Yes. And so you brought home a ribbon. Is that right, I Adrian? did. I did. So is this a competitive world? I it mean, is. It's very competitive. Really? And I'm going to be honest, every dog on that stage yesterday deserved to place. It Aww. was that good. Well, that's nice. And um, I was very honored to get third place. I was very, very honored. Well, but Paul, did you see the behind the scenes of yeah, this of culture and yeah. you know what did you take away from that? I mean I'm not a groomer but um, I think it's the most amazing um, creative um, unexpected kind of um, passion right. and um, yeah it's it's thrilling to see really exciting Okay, where where are we showing it? Oh yeah, oh, I just noticed gosh. that. Yeah, because that's the uh, that's here. Jay, the... stand up. Jay, come on. Jay. Oh, Jay's tired. Jay. So there's here's, <laughs> here's the Captain, Captain Hook. Hook right there. Wait, you see you... it? You've got the mustache and the eyes. How do you how do you attach the eyes? That is glued on just with the water soluble glue. It I can take it right off and get back to the hotel. I'll take it right off the eyes. And for the people who are curious at home, this does not harm them at all. No. This is perfectly safe. It does and, not yes, harm yeah, them at all. Yeah, we just want to make sure. But can we turn yes, I'm Jay turn around? Jay, turn around. Oh my gosh, this is so Jay, cool. Come on. Here, here, turn around. Okay. Check this out. Tinkerbell. Uh, look who we have here, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. That Can is you so see that? crazy. And the, and the very front of him is Peter Pan. The very front? Yes, the front. I've actually, he has, yeah, he's his, his, his arms are crossed. He's Peter Pan. He's Peter Pan. He's Peter Pan. This is too much. So, yeah. And then can you show little Gucci? What are we doing and with little Gucci? And little Gucci, he's just my sidekick. <laughs> um, I put a little flower on his hip. That's like on a, his hip. That's like a little. And he just, he goes with me everywhere I go. Oh wow. my gosh. So with, he, how did you get involved with this? Um. When I first started grooming uh, 20 years ago, I've been grooming for 20 years, I said I wanted to do something different. And I saw a, went to our first grooming show and I saw a, a magazine, is Groomer to Groomer. And I said, I want to be on the cover of Groomer to Groomer. And it took me 20 years, but December of 2013, I was People's Choice Award at, at uh, the Groom Expo's 25th anniversary show and I made the cover of Groomer to Groomer. Are you from southern New Jersey? I, I No, I am from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. <laughs> right outside of college. <laughs> well, Paul, have you ever seen grooming that's gone too far? I don't think you can go too far. That's really? what it's all about. It's about pushing the limits. Oh, good. She was very upset by that. She didn't even like your question. I apologize, wow. Gucci. But now, Adrian, do you feel the same way, though? Do you think that there's no limit to where you can go? There's no limit. You know, life... Life is short. Have fun. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> is that what are some of the strangest or most creative groomings that you guys have seen? Um, gosh, people have turned dogs into buffaloes, 
um, Eagles. Uh, the best that I've this ever been is um, my friend Lori Craig turned her dog into the lion, and it honestly looked like a lion. She had a, she turned the whole the whole front end of the dog was a lion, and then she put a zebra on one side and a giraffe on the other, and it was so realistic. I mean, it was it was unreal, oh unbelievable. Oh my gosh! Yes. If wow. he was to walk in here, you would think it was a lion. Was a lion. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and now, what, this what's is going on here? <laughs> is this, yeah, these are pictures from the book. Now these, Paul, when you're taking pictures of dogs, obviously yeah. these dogs are used to being handled and manicured. Were they easy to shoot? I mean, um, I've been doing it for a while. Yes, and that yeah. is, that is one, that's my dog. That it's is awesome, dog. guys. Well, we unfortunately we have to go, but Paul, These Nathan, and Adrian, Crib, Pope, and of course JJ and Gucci. Thank you for coming by. And Groomed is in stores now. Pick yeah. it up a beautiful book. Thank, thank you gorgeous. so much. Thank you. So wow. that just about does it for us today. Another one down, John. I gotta go get Chloe. I know. <laughs> I know. Lola needs more hair in order to be groomed. Hey, thanks for joining us. Your dog's gonna love a walk this afternoon. Enjoy.